So of course the big problem with any builder and I touched on this in uh, some of the chapters of this part of the course was is finding builders and uh, finding a good builder is notoriously difficult it's it's sort of it, I, I part joke when I say you don't want to hire any builder that's available to work and yeah it's a slightly flippant comment but it's builders are so sought after a good builder can be booked up to six months a year in advance I've had people come I've phoned up builders for quotes and they're just gone when do you want to start and I'm like well the next month or two and they're like nah we're just too busy we can't do it that's the guys you want but unfortunately you can't wait so you've got to try someone or you might get lucky sometimes I mean my current builder I got lucky is he just finished a project and his next project was actually one of his own projects he just bought something so he's waiting to complete on his own house so he can uh, do exactly the same as converting into flats but I say with my current builder the ideal thing about him every other builder that I asked for a quote on my last job went to the house that needed the quote the one that I'm using was the only one that said you come to me and look at what I'm doing right now and I got there and it's like I'm converting this house into flat what do you want I'm converting a house into flat do you like my work yes right let's talk about price so it was it just made sense I could see what he was doing so yeah from that if you're hiring a builder especially for a big job go and see someone they've done get a recommendation get um, a testimonial you know ask around this again same with solicitors accountants ask friends families peers and the, the, the toughest things to find um, failing that so you got my builder check a trade they're okay I wouldn't massively want to give a big job to someone off one of those sites because they're a bit of an unknown quantity um, it's not so bad when you're just looking for a small job quite often say with the tiler I'll say I'll hire him to do the tiling in the bathroom and if it's good then I might let him do the rest of the house if it's bad I'll find another tiler and they do that and if it's good but it's hanging on to them and if you find someone that's good make sure you've got that card and they're ready to go for the next job but what I also find with the uh, builders is they do a great job for you the first three or four times and then it seems five six jobs down the line this they've gone complacent or something and then the work goes downhill and then you start looking for other people and so uh yeah finding and keeping good builders is the hardest hardest part of this of this trade and it's and that's again when it comes to the training that's where it's good that you've got knowledge and training yourself because ultimately you might have to step in and do something it's if the lack of say a plastered wall is holding the whole job up you go in and do it it might take you two days where it's taken a plaster half a day but if that gets the job going again then that's brilliant but uh, yeah find good builders keep them it's be nice to them paying bonuses taking tea taking coffees and biscuits and uh, it's everything else you can do uh, suck up to them pay them on time it's probably as well is a big one is they've got cash flow issues just as much as you have so thinking they can wait a week for their money is is not on they've got bills to pay and probably a lot of it is is the uh, materials for your site so yeah look after your builders and yeah there's not much I can say for finding them it's it, it's tough it's the hardest thing of every part of the job it's the hardest thing it's easier to find financing it's easy to find buyers it's easy to find people renting from you it's it's just everything else it's easy compared to finding and keeping good builders so if you get one look after them well i hope that was useful see you on the next one bye bye please don't forget to like subscribe and comment thanks see you on the next one